real motorbiking. Yes, the sounds, the vibrations, the smells. That's what real motorbiking is all about. Catch you inside. Revelator L. Hello, welcome to Revelator Alpha. Hope you enjoying the channel and the series of videos. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, leave those comments, and check out the website revelatoralpha.com where you'll find the links to Patreon and PayPal too. So, in this video, I'm talking about electric motorcycles. Uh, look, they're all becoming the rage, of course, and we know it's the future. We're going to have a wave of developing tech in the coming years, and it's all going to be cleaner, meaner, and, uh, well, frankly, a little bit more boring, uh, I should say. For me, electric motorcycles are just a bit of a damp squid. Squib. Squid. Whatever. The thing is, with electric motorcycles, is that there's instant power, uh, they are can be quite fast, yet yeah, sort out the charging and the range and all that kind of stuff, they will be great. The handling, everything, just going to ride like a normal motorcycle, but riding motorcycles is more than just the physical application of riding a motorcycle. It's the sensation, it's the sights, the smells, the feeling, uh, the, the feedback from the road. It's all about that. It's an immersive activity. And riding an electric motorcycle kind of chips away at that. I'd rather have an internal combustion engine motorcycle than an electric motorcycle. Hands up, that's the way I feel. Until an electric motorcycle manufacturer can replicate the experience of a petrol-driven bike, I'm just going to say no, nada, nine. Uh, actually, there is an electric motorcycle manufacturer, kind of, that have done just that. My interest is tweaked. Here we have the Emula motorcycle. Now this is from a company called Two Electron and they are an Italian motorcycle design house uh, manufacturer who have come up with this uh, emulator system technology which mimics a petrol driven uh, motorcycle. Well, how does this work? Let me explain. Welcome to the world of Italian design and tech company Two Electron. Don't you just love them? Now, they have designed this, what they dub as this McFly system, uh, this emulator system, which is put onto an electric motorcycle. And they've actually developed their own motorcycle emula to showcase this technology. Now, they're not planning on selling this motorcycle. What they've done is that so they've just built the motorcycle to showcase the tech the tech will then be made available to other electric motorcycle manufacturers in the future. So what's it all about? Let's dig into it. So what this McFly system does, it gives the rider the sensation of vibration, uh, engine noise, uh, exhaust noise, uh, and it does this by a, a series of sensors, but also by a speakers as well. So the rider is actually getting uh, an artificial sound, as it were, an artificial feeling. Now, this is nothing new in terms of uh, modes of transport. This has kind of been happening in uh, cars and also certainly electric vehicles, uh, but also in aviation for a long, long time. An artificial force feel, as it were, is incorporated. Now, you probably already have experienced this and you didn't even know it. And the most common example of this is through power steering on a car. Cars have the power steering system and there won't be any resistance in that. They actually incorporate artificial resistance when you're turning the steering wheel, especially at speed. Otherwise, you just uh, flick the uh, steering wheel and then you just spin off the highway. So you kind of already experience it, but now you've got it for electric uh, motorcycles. All the tech there exists for it anyway. 
Now, this Emula motorcycle, which they've uh, built to showcase this technology, uh, you ride like a normal electric motorcycle, twist and go, instant power, whoosh, uh, down the road you go. Uh, but you can also go into the mode settings on it and change it to replicate a conventional motorcycle with gear changes, clutch operation, that kind of thing. It will actually limit the amount of electrical power to the motor up to a certain gear position as it were and then it won't let you go any faster until you change up gear and then it allow more power so it's kind of falsely stopping or limiting the electrical power according to a fake as it were uh, gear position all very clever stuff now they've actually made it sound like a motorcycle in some cases by attaching a couple of speakers uh, by the top yokes and uh, that will uh, simulate the engine valve uh, noise as well. They've got another speaker towards the rear of the motorcycle which simulates the exhaust tone and they've got a couple of bass speakers within the motorcycle frame to give you that deep tone rumble sound as well. It's gonna give you the experience of a petrol driven bike, almost, ish, so that you won't feel that you're on an electric motorcycle. I kinda like the sound of this. How cool is that? Now, as I said before, this uh, electric motorcycle, the Emula, is not going to be put into production by the company. Well, not as yet. But the technology that they've developed, this McFly technology, uh, is going to be made available to other motorcycle manufacturers. That's their business model. That's their business plan, as it were, to take this tech, put it on other bikes. Now, which other motorcycle manufacturers are they going to team up with? We don't know, but they've certainly built up an interesting little relationship already with Bosch. So this Italian McFly uh, emulator tech uh, seems to have some legs. It might start to be featured on more motorcycles of the future, and it might mean that your electric motorcycling experience is actually quite reminiscent of a petrol uh, riding experience or a diesel bike riding experience but we won't talk about that. So there we go, the Italian design company, uh, Two Electron, have come up with their McFly emulator system for electric motorcycles. They've uh, made their own Emula motorcycle uh, to showcase it, and they uh, also have teamed up with Bosch now. Uh, bish bash Bosch, as it were. Who knows what's gonna happen in the future, but I kind of like this tech. It kind of makes electric motorcycles more appealing to me because it's not just about the ride, it's also about the sensation that you get. And more sensation that you can get, the better the experience is gonna be. For me, and possibly for you, let me know what you think about this. Let me know if riding an electric motorcycle appeals to you full stop. Do you agree with me that it's more than just the actual transport, mode of transport that you're on? It's got to be a sensation as well. That's why we like all different types of motorcycles, isn't it? Because every kind of motorcycle gives you a different kind of riding experience. Maybe this will bridge the gap. Maybe this will convert a lot more people to electric motorcycles in the future. Maybe this could be the linchpin that determines whether electric motorcycles will be a quicker success or it's just something that will kind of gradually creep in uh, in the years to come. But don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell, like and share, leave those comments and check out the website revelatoralf.com where you'll find the links to Patreon and PayPal too. But here you go, the Emula motorcycle, the two electron muckfly system, uh, which will simulate uh, petrol driven motorcycles on an electric bike. Food for thought. Catch you again. Ta-da. Revelator L.